The show kind of really started with the title. Um, we knew we wanted to make a show about a pop star. Oh, I'm a huge Mark Twain fan. Part of the development was trying to nail down, okay, how are we going to retell this story, Prince and the Pauper, where you have uh, two very different characters from two very different backgrounds who uh, envy each other's lives. I wish I were you, and I wish I were you, and we look exactly the same. Why don't, Why don't we, we give, give it a try? try? So one thing that was really important to me was that the voice of Vanna when she sings be something that you kind of instantly believe as the voice of someone who could really be a pop star. After weeks of auditioning people, um, Mariah came in. From the moment she started singing, I was like, oh, this is it. Oh, it's so exciting. My dinner's one huge chocolate bar. Diamonds and jet planes, I'm a star, yeah. It was just such fun hearing her put her really great sounding voice and her professionalism into these songs. And it just brought them to life in a way that was just even more than I'd hoped for. I'm a I slept with the songs like <laughs> that I needed to audition with because I thought it would be really cool if I got to do this. It's so surreal. Like I, I grew up watching Veggie Tales. My favorite episode is Madden Blueberry. And now. I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, snap! The lesson that we wanted to get to was that God has a very specific plan for each of our lives. Uh, God created Princess to be Princess, and he created Vanna to be Vanna. God is the only person that we can actually look at and say, I want to be like you and it actually turn around and make that who he's called us to be. Realizing that God created you really specifically to, to fit into where you are um, and that nothing about you is an accident. Mm -hmm.